Just curious, a uh, season-long road trip coming up. How do you view the significance? Yeah, obviously, uh, we did a good job on the road last time. Um, we didn't get the one we wanted to at home, but we got to keep the same road mentality we did on, on the last trip. And um, it is definitely a longer one, so um, good opportunity. What do you enjoy about going home, playing in Ontario? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of people that show up. Um, it's good to see family. Um, it's always, uh, you know, you grow up, you watch the Leafs, every, you know, hockey in Canada type thing. So to be able to do it and um, to have people come and support you that, that support you along the way is, is always special. So that's probably what I'm looking forward to. I heard you're going to have a pretty good crew there. How many people are you expecting? Oh, probably with friends and family, probably I would put it close to 20, maybe more. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm not pointing up any tickets, which is nice. Um, Toronto definitely can get expensive, but... No, it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to see everyone. Do you have any memories going going to Leafs games, or is there a specific game that stands out to you? Uh, no, not really. I think growing up with, with what my dad did, I was able to you know go to morning skates and, and kind of experience this kind of atmosphere. So that was always cool, uh, see guys behind the scenes and, and not just on the ice. So, um, no, it's uh, obviously go to the ACC growing up, so to play there was pretty cool. What do you remember about what that was like as a kid, going and seeing what morning skates were like? Like, do you ever stop and think about the fact that you know that's you now do you ever reflect on that I yeah that. yeah definitely I think you know even like bringing you know my son around here and, and that type of stuff and I was Hidges doing that and um and running around the room and that was kind of me so um uh, maybe a bit more discipline with, with people I don't know he kind of acts a bit crazy but um uh, no it's uh it's cool to, to share those experiences for sure last night it was the start that people circled that they would have liked to have seen things done differently what do you want to see the, the start to the game yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the thing last yeah. night that was criticized just among you guys in the room what do you want to see from the start of the game to kick off the road trip on a start strong yeah. note I think when obviously when we've started uh you know the first period to, to get it going it we, we definitely come out on the right side of things um you know even Utah probably started off a bit slow and able to battle back and yeah, I thought maybe last game was kind of the same way we were just able to get that that one more or two more so um yeah in this league you gotta start on time you can Definitely win or lose games in the first period, so it's critical. Toronto kind of has Taylor Swift fever right now. She was there all weekend, and then she's going to be there after you guys leave again. Is there much T-Swift blasting in the Pearson household? No, my, my wife was all over me, but maybe, get, maybe getting tickets for it. Um, so, no, it's it's definitely a thing, and I think you know some of the streets are closed down in Toronto, and it, it's a whole ordeal for sure. If your wife's a fan, do you have any favorite Taylor Swift songs? Oh, no. I, I stay out of it. She, she's a music girl.